Hi everyone, it's Ashley and this is really weird because I am filming on my new camera and I'm so excited. I'm really sorry for my hair, uh, but anyways, back to the camera. I don't know if you saw, but I did get the Canon T5i and I did do a video unboxing it, so click here. Click my face, right here, if you want to see that video. I will have it linked on my face, so click here and if you're on an iPad, and you're not able to click on my face, then it will be in the description box below. So, I don't know if you can tell, but there's kind of a theme going on here. I've got some floral, bright colors. It's springtime. This is a collab video with my friend meant to be tay 3 on YouTube. And yeah, she's been in a ton of my videos and we thought it'd be super fun to do a little collab like this. So, we are going to be telling you guys all about our spring favorites. And if you want to see her video, I'll have it linked on these flowers right now go click it or you can watch through my video and then click hers or you can check the links down below. So these aren't necessarily spring break essentials, more so spring in general essentials, like the spring season. So this should be pretty fun and hopefully get you guys pumped and in the spirit for spring and all that jazz as it's getting warmer. I'm so excited. I love spring. First favorite I'm actually wearing on my skin right now. This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and this is great. I have it in the shade Sand. You've probably heard me talk about this constantly. Sorry if you hear the cars outside. My windows are open. The breeze is coming in. So if you hear the cars or some random honking, oh, my dad's home, then that's why. So this will give you some nice kind of dewy, glowy looking finishes to your skin. It'll provide pretty light coverage, which I feel like is always great for the springtime because you know, when you're out and about, it's warm outside, you don't really want anything too cakey. You want something nice, lightweight, and I feel like that's kind of what spring's all about. Just like light and fresh and everything. If that, I don't know if that's just me, but yeah. Every time I film a video, the jets are out and it's so annoying. Stila Lip Glaze. This is a lip gloss, and like I said, I'm not sure if I'm really into lip glosses necessarily. I'm kind of more the person to not really wear lip products, more so like chapstick and all the basic, easy, simple stuff. Whenever I wear a lip product, it's either for a video or I really feel like dressing up. So on the daily, I'm not really into that. But one thing I do like about these steel lip glazes is that, is that they look pretty nice and they just look like they added a little extra something and it's not really overdoing it. So it's just a little lip glaze as they call it and it's in the shade Kaleidoscope. With all the flowers blooming in the spring, all these bright colors are popping up, I feel like it's kind of an excuse to display that in your makeup. Why not, right? So why not just add a little something extra to your everyday? Now I know I just said that I don't always wear bright lip colors, but on special occasions, so sometimes, if it's maybe like I'm going out to dinner, something a little nicer, less casual, I can throw on a nice high gloss lip color, as this would be called. Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Color in Scandal. What a great name. Brighter, fun colors for your lip products, I feel like, are just great for spring. And I don't know, I just have always liked that kind of thing. I'm not sure if it's a trend. Because in the fall, you're all pale and you're using darker colors and winter and whatnot, but then spring, it's like everything's blooming. Basically, it's a quick drying water and alcohol free brush cleaner. Made with sandalwood, barley, and bark extracts to cleanse, condition, and protect your brushes for extended use. This is a great little brush cleanser, and if you're not really sure what I'm talking about, when your brushes get dirty, you ought to clean them, right? So you can use dish soap, spritz a little on a brush, wipe it off on a washcloth or a tissue, and then dip it in your makeup and put it on, and you're good to go, honestly. Um, it just cleans it and it dries super quickly. Bring cleaning, clean your brushes. Okay, so first clothing essential for spring are flowy shorts. These look really weird on camera. Wow, that was a crazy light adjustment. Okay, that's a lot better now that I've closed the window, so we're just gonna do that. I love these shorts because I feel like they're really great, great for spring because for one thing, they're so flowy and I feel like during the springtime, everything's like flowy. All these clothes are flowy. These are by Billabong. I don't remember where, I think I got these at the Navy Exchange or something. So I really like rompers for the springtime and this one is pretty much dying. I just bought this too, like really, but um, I love the detailing right here. I think it's so super cute. It just adds a little something extra so it's not a plain black romper. In the spring, you know, it's April showers, it might be raining, because you want to wear a dress or a skirt during the springtime, but then when it's raining or it's windy, you don't want your skirt to fly up. Even if you're wearing something underneath, I feel like it's awkward if it flies up. So a romper will kind of give you that fake dress appeal kind of thing. It makes it look kind of like a dress, even though it's not and then it won't fly up. 
because they're short. Great, great. And shoes, we cannot forget about shoes, right? So these are from Target and they're these cute little sandals and I don't know if I've ever featured them in a video before, but they're really cute. They've got this gold and brown kind of braided thing going on, but they're Target by Morona and I think they're great little sandals and I need to wash my hands because I'm touching these dirty shoes. I like wearing these during spring especially and in the summer too, but especially during spring, sandals are great. They're a must have, you just, you just got it. So I love getting bathing suits. If you see my swimsuit collection, Maybe it's a lot, maybe it's not, I don't know. I personally think it's a large collection. I'm always, 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 <laughs> I'm always like collecting, buying swimsuits, and I have an addiction. My name is Ashley Bryan, and I'm addicted to swimsuits. For the bottoms, they're super cute. Um, this is whole thing is from Target, by the way, but the bottoms have this like kind of string, not string. It's got a trio of string material. <laughs> That's basically it, the black. Doesn't this look so cool? I'm gonna have a pretty bad tan line, but I feel like with the black bottoms, the mint is gonna look great. But I just think it's really, really cute. And Target always has a thousand swimsuits, and I'm obsessed with their swimsuits. I love the straps on it. I just, I don't know, I think it's adorable. And it's a little bit different from your usual um, swimsuit, you know? A swimsuit might be pushing it for spring or spring break, but I know a lot of people go out of town for spring break, but in some places it can get pretty warm. Especially where I live, it could get pretty warm, but then sometimes it's pretty cold. So, we'll see if it plays out that I can wear it during spring break. But yeah, that's about it for my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this isn't a crazy long video. Don't forget to check out Taylor's video, of course, so I will see you next Sunday. Bye! Wonderland. Oh, this is that's an easy question. Zero points. Off with his head. <laughs> <laughs>